everyone. This is Connie with AZ Realtor Connie in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm doing this video today because I just met with one of my favorite clients. He is a gentleman who is actually as old as my youngest son. And just as, as I've talked to my youngest son, I gave him advice as if I was his mother. So he's looking for a rental, but I just didn't tell him about the rental process. I told him about credit and understanding credit, how to fix your credit, how to improve your credit. I told him about a, a budget. I'm going to give him a worksheet where it has all his expenses and how he can plan to save because in 10 months our goal is to be ready to buy his first home. And I've also told him about something that's kind of going to be a little controversial to all your women out there. And as a mother who raised two sons and three grandsons, I'm going to continue this conversation with my family. So what it is, is I don't believe men should pay for every single meal. No. Because they earn as much as you and work as hard as you do as a female. So why should they pay for everything? When you're up living large, yeah, you got your hair did, but you know what? You can do without that. You can have your homegirl hook you up with that hairdo. You can go natural. Buff your nails out, get them painted, do it yourself. You don't got, you don't need, you don't need a bag. You need a wedding ring. And if you want a man who's going to give you a wedding ring, you've got to act like a wife instead of a liability. You've got to be an asset instead of a liability. Help him improve his credit. Help him save his money. And not give him any money. No, I'm not telling you give him any money. I'm telling you, instead of going out, yeah, go out for one drink and share appetizer. Enjoy your time together. People watch. Then go home and spend your quality time together because y'all don't need to be out in the clubs looking at all other people when you got each other because that's what a marriage and a united relationship, loyalty, trust, whatever that is, that's what that's about. Having each other's back, preparing each other for the future. So asking him to spend more than his he's available to do so, you know what? That's why men have bad credit and that's why men are statistically at a hot extra nominal part right now of not getting their education because they don't want to they, to take the time frame of not earning the income so they can have that income so they can take the girls out on the date so you know what's happening more women are going to college more women now are earning more money because our high expectations over men are setting them back for not even having a true goal and, and being reaching their true success and their true potential because of women's expectations that men should provide for everything. No, they don't. Unless you're his wife, then he will. He can and possibly will take care of you in that way. But in this economy, in this life, those days are over of being the housewife and sitting at home. You've got to work. You can't, in Arizona, no longer can you have a housewife you need two incomes to keep a roof over your head so that's my advice if he's gonna find a wifey material she's not gonna have a bag you know what she's gonna sit through his his years of, of dedication for his ambition he's got goals he's good I told him you talk to women so you want to roll with me I got goals you want it or not because I'm not about all that you know I want a wife I want to put a ring on your finger not a bag so that's my advice to all the young men that I'm raising and that I'm meeting and that's my consulting information because I, I, I am old school. Yeah, I am. I, I, like to, I like to cook and clean for my man and, um, but I don't, I don't expect him to do anything he, he, he can't do. He's not Superman. That's a fictional character. When women give that, um, burden on a man they're they're doing that they're putting the weight of the world and making the world of the weight heavier on them and they're just like you that they are they're just like you they have stresses they have worries their outlets are different 
So that's why they might stay quiet. They might, they, they won't cry, they'll stay quiet. They might um, not cry, they'll drink. You know, and to prevent all that is to have a loving, supporting woman who knows this man has ambition and knows he's gonna be something because with every good man, like they say, is a better woman. That's my shmeel. My men are gonna to rise to the top. Best believe it. Best believe it. So you have a good day. If you know anyone who needs this advice, send my message their way. If you like what I have to say or don't, it's okay. It don't bother me. But subscribe to my blog. I'm on all social media at AZ Willacher Connie. And when you're ready for a home or a rental, give me a call if you want my free advice. Might not be worth much, but in the future, 10 months from now, he's going to be living large. So can you. Give me a call, 602-615-4166.